We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Glad you two finally have a chance to meet. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Always preferred working alone, even around people I like. But we're all working together on this one. No finer group in the stars to be unraveling this mystery. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull a worried old man act on you, but... I'm an old man, and... I'm worried. Yes, indeed. Stop worrying so much, Vladimir. If she's out there, we'll find her. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Usually it doesn't. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tail to tip your ear on, but if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. Thought I was going to see life's eclipse from there, but Constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. If you do go there, turn the lights off when you leave, okay?
landing gear. Starting a mining operation like this takes time, patience, and a hell of a lot of credits. Explored near Pavonis Don't come any closer. Mars. Identify yourself. Ah, oh, good. I suppose I should have guessed. It has been too long since I checked in. I'm just glad we found you unharmed, Andresia. Vladimir and I were worried. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? <laughs> I suppose. And yet you are here. Instead of checking up on Barrett or Noel. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk.
Oh, this should be a more than adequate return for our efforts. You did not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. Uh, I might say that many do. It is surprising to find someone else from Constellation who agrees with me. <laughs> they tend to avoid conflict wherever possible. What experience led you to that belief? What did you do before Constellation? Argos. I have heard of this company. Small, reckless. Interesting. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with... <sighs> risk. We both seem to be... Unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the... the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that... Varun Zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again... Well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? Mom, this means we are in agreement. Thank you. That is good to know. I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us. Okay, that's it. Time to sell some of your junk. What can I help you with? Bring me anything useful?
mining can be extremely dangerous, as I'm sure you know very well from personal experience. for you. picked up something you might be interested in. Anything I... You should inspect your ship for heat... Okay, sure. We'll take care of any... Got anything you need to offload? Trade... You the courier? I've been expecting you. Star Parcel has your payment right here. Yeah, take a look at this. Bye. Sidonia can have depressing effects. Hey, welcome to this. Cool.
Yo, stay good out there. Just because the governor's office is right there on the main record, zero. Another day, another. I've got whatever you need. Hmm. Not even sure it's worth. Oh, good. You're good to go. See you around. You're listening to the Settled Systems News Network. I'm listening. I'll only carry. Bye for now. Hey, friendo. Take a look. Just a reminder. Be safe out there. The notorious bandit gang. Talk to me. You look well.
like an alternate entrance to the Helium-3 facility. I wonder what that generator is for. The majority of citizens here in New Atlantis count on Reliant Medical. I believe our reputation speaks for itself. Welcome to Reliant. If you're... Well, you've certainly come to the... Take care of yourself. Who keeps the lodge so meticulously clean? Thank goodness. We were worried. Why? Was there a concern that I would not contribute to the mission? No, of course not. We thought you might be hurt. Oh, I then thank you, but it was not necessary. We succeeded.
Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock, or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored, they tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Another realist has joined our ranks. I'm outnumbered. The truth hurts, Mateo. Don't look at me. You two already know my flag is firmly planted in the science camp. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. Roger that, Vladimir. He's on his way.
Ah, hello. You do not need to ask me if you may ask. You may just ask. Honestly, I... I cannot answer that. So many years have been driven by survival in intense circumstances. Leisure time has... has been in short supply. And I suppose I have conditioned myself to not think about it much. I do enjoy combat training, though I suppose that is hardly the answer you are looking for. You have given me something to consider. Thank you for that. <laughs> you might find it absurd, but honestly, the Lodge... I have never been surrounded by such a remarkable group of people, present company included. It has been a very long time since I have been someplace that could possibly feel like... home. There are worlds beyond count out there, but that feeling is rare and precious. I have done so in the past, when necessary, but I am not the best pilot, and... It seems prudent to apply my skills where they are most useful. Lately, that means aiding you. And that, I think, has worked out very well. If you wish to know more, I will be... Is that it, then?
just here for a chat. Lives of nearly every individual in the settled systems are so heavily influenced by what goes on in this place.
Are they moving? They seem to react to us. Is all? Are you all right? We need to get you back to the lodge.
I have an important personal decision to make, but I need to discuss something with you first. Phew, thank you. So, where to start? Um, before I was with the Navigator Corps, I was Korean military, part of the United Colonies Navy. When the colony war broke out, I was posted as the chief navigator on a warship, the Dauntless. Well, the position didn't last long. There was a particularly bloody battle. We were fighting over a world in the Aeta Cassiopeia system. Worst fighting I'd ever seen. We lost 12 ships that day. Twelve. Including my own. No. This is important. I need to tell you this. The ship was barely intact. The captain and first mate died the previous day, which put me in command. A shrewd captain would have called for the crew to abandon ship, but I was so angry. I wanted to stay. I needed to fight. <sighs> I believe you, but you haven't heard the worst of this. We fought for hours, but the damage was fatal. I gave the order to abandon ship and the crew piled into the escape shuttle. As the shuttle launched, I could see it was damaged. I... I heard screams before the radio cut. And the last thing I saw, they were... spiraling helplessly towards the planet's surface. There was... <sighs> there was nothing I could do. You're sorry. For me? If I hadn't been so stubborn, so eager to prove that I could handle command, my crew would have had more time to escape. Try telling that to their loved ones. When the dust settled, the United Colonies gave me a medal. Can you believe that? A damn medal! I never even had a chance to find the shuttle wreckage and give my crew a proper burial. Bad luck. That sounds familiar. You once told me, no matter how hard you fight, there are some battles you simply can't win. I wish I had heard your advice long ago. Don't you get it? Everything I do, everything I touch, somehow falls apart. That's why I'm worried about us. After everything you've heard, all my stories, you still have faith. No one's ever cared about me this much. Not even Arja. You know, I spent a lot of time thinking about us, about our relationship. How we've clearly become close. I practiced what I was going to say when the moment was right, and now that it's here, my mind's gone blank. <laughs> uh, look, you deserve the best. Someone who can give themselves to you entirely. But right now, I have too much baggage. Too much on my mind. I hope you'll forgive me for pushing you away. I just need time. 
Of course, the United Colonies is paying yeah. close attention. Heaven forbid something escaped their knowledge. Yes, yes, absolutely. Miss Morgan, I shall be here if you... It's actually comforting to know that, Andresia. Thank you. Do you need me for something? As much as I'm eager to explore the universe, there's nothing quite like the feeling of returning home. Crix's bones. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm gonna start doing some scans. Like, right now. We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. An entire building generating a signature just like the artifact. Um, Vladimir? Look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think we're going to need a little demonstration. Mind putting the paces to it? Everyone saw that, right? Like a literal gift from the heavens. And also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird, weird. So we have artifacts, a temple, and this power. All connected. More questions than answers. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory, there might be one temple for each. But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then, it takes time. Don't think it's just Fortune's laugh that this temple responded to you. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten, all seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think about. Anyway, catch a smile out there. I'll work on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. Of course. I will admit what I'm proposing involves a little more cloak and dagger than the usual business meeting. But we both know that's how the game plays sometimes. It's about an artifact. And our goal is simple, we're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. That settles it then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. Drinks are on you? Hmm. Now I'm certain there's something wrong with you, Walter. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited.
others available to you. down in it.
scary. One over here!
Wait, don't shoot! I am unarmed. Look, we can help each other. I can be useful. Just don't kill me. It's because I'm smart. You've killed so many. I am nothing. No chance. So we can make a deal? This place was full of traps. Traps everywhere. I removed them. But this, this corridor is just too dangerous. See? Looks normal. One step inside, slam! You are trapped. And nobody's been standing after the doors reopen. No, sorry. If I tell you that, then I lose my... They're ingenious. Took a, a lot of lives to tease them out. No one knew how to get through the corridor. But I figured it out. There are letters on the floor. It is a grid. Those letters must spell something. But there are so many words or small phrases. Why does everyone always say that? See? I've been helpful. You... you could let me go. Or better, I can help. I know these traps. I know how this mantis thinks. Please, let me help. And just give me a taste of the cachet inside. You can trust me. I like to think of myself as a merciful person, and I love giving people the benefit of the doubt. But I don't know about this one. Spoken like a true spacer. You won't regret this. I will hold back here. And, well, good luck. This place has killed so many of us.
to ask how you're feeling after your experience at the temple you've given everyone at the lodge quite a scare you did it it's amazing now you must be careful there will be traps robots probably turrets very dangerous That's distressing, but to be expected, I suppose. According to what I've heard, your body absorbed an almost unquantifiable amount of energy of a type we can't even begin to understand. We're dealing with something unknown to modern science. Who knows how this encounter has affected your body or your mind? Well, good. I'm pleased to hear that. That temple proves we're dealing with entities of unknown origin. The problem is that we can't even begin to guess what their intention was towards us and where they've gone. Perhaps that's true, or perhaps you were simply quite lucky. It's just that... Oh, I'm afraid that we're flying almost completely blind here. All we know for certain at this point is that whoever created the artifacts are the same beings that built the temple. Anything else is just guesswork. I might as well put on a blindfold and toss darts at theories written on the wall. Oh, believe me, this is positively exhilarating. Think about the significance of this research. The questions it raises alone are mind-boggling. Who was this wondrous structure built to accommodate? How long ago did these entities inhabit our universe? Are they still out there? Somewhere? Yes, exactly. Now you understand why it's imperative that we solve this puzzle. It's funny. I used to think the artifacts were the end-all be-all of scientific discovery. The pinnacle mystery of our time. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine it would lead to something of this magnitude. I just hope that you'll come through this. Whatever it is. Unharmed. <laughs> well, thank you. Look, I've already taken up too much of your time. All I can do is promise that I'm not going to make you deal with this mystery alone. Whatever might be happening, I'll be right here to help you every step of the way. The Mantis has been a bounty hunter for decades.
the treasure of the mantis will be mine. <laughs> it will be. Wait. Turn off. Turn off. I am sorry I could never show this lair to you. The lair is a secret that's been passed down for over a hundred years. And there are rules. You remember when you were a teenager? All the training, the drills, all of it was to prepare you for this. I know you have it in you, Leon.
free to drop some... Bye for now. I have something for you, when you have a moment. 
got any? Offload. Trade authorities always buy. Kiosk right You've here. Got something for me? Glad to haul what it. Maybe another time. Yes? Hope you're finding everything you need. If you don't see what you want, feel... Oh, please, take a...
Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. Expect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cost. Sure, how about it? Stay. 